on the mound for the Orioles. It's the right-hander, Tyler Wells. Wells making start number 14 on the year, 4-4 four and four with a 362 earn run average. So Soto aboard for Josh Bell. Slugging Bell off the fist out to center. Hayes was deep and in left center, and he can't get to it. Soto trying to go first to third, running on Hayes. That's never a good idea. Another outfield assist for Austin, his fifth of the season. Well, interleague play, you know, you've got to go in the scouting reports. Assist number five. And again, you don't run on Austin Hayes. Perfect throw, perfect tag. You know, you're after the air, you're looking for an out, and he runs into one. Against Patrick Corbin, looking for his first career win at Camden Yards. His last start won three and a third, allowed nine runs, only two of them earned after some sloppy defense behind him. It's for Mount Castle, nine of his last 10, setting 372 during that time, among the AL leaders in June in a variety of offensive categories. That's in a right field from Ryan. A shot out toward the wall and off of the scoreboard. Hayes is in, Mancini to third, and another extra base hit for Ryan in an absolutely red hot month of June. 14 extra base hits in the month. Another June RBI, and the Orioles on the board first. Well, you get, there's the changeup that doesn't get to the corner. Right down the middle. It, this is a home run if it's two feet to the left. So Hayes scores easy. Give the Orioles a 1 nothing lead. Swing and a miss. So after all that, Patrick Corbin allows just one run. He threw 31 pitches. The Orioles stranded a couple in scoring position, but the Nationals left-hander surrenders just one in the first. And now the catcher, Riley Adams, will come up. And a ground ball to the left side. Nevin sliding into the pick. In time wow. to first with a howitzer. Yeah, Riley Adams can get down the line. That ball destined to left field, and uh, all of a sudden, I mean, quick feet. And then here's the arm that Kevin Brown was talking about just throwing them out. So this is a big spot for Luis Garcia who had a really hot hitting homestand. Big chance Baltimore leading one nothing in the third. Base is full of Nationals. One two on the way. He got him looking. Garcia takes a look at a 90 mile an hour slider for strike three and Tyler Wells leaves three runners out there. Here come the Orioles bottom half the third inning Orioles up one to nothing. Hayes into left field. This is driven well back toward the wall and gone. He conquers the great wall. Austin Hayes into the front row with his 10th home run of the season to double the Oriole lead. Well, what he hit one uh, against the Cubs, 464 feet. So this is probably just a mere 410, something like that. There's a slider that stays up and it goes into orbit. 405 off the bat of Hayes. And he is the third Oriole in the double figures and home runs this season. 3 0 swing away from oh, Santander. Oh, oh, and it's a good thing he did it. Absolutely walloped. Out into the bullpens. And Anthony takes the home run lead back from Ryan Mountcastle with his 13th of the season. Well, there's nothing like that sound. Obviously, if you're Patrick Corbin, you don't like it in the chain just keeps moving that ball loud really loud home run home runs now in four out of seven for Santander. Wow. there now the number nine hitter Adrianza a Ray fly to deep center his first at bat yes got him looking yeah. at the change up <laughs> came back caught the inside corner a little bit easier for hitting there it is two outs but now he's going to deal with Austin Hayes that's a right field from Hayes toward the short ports there. Soto at the wall will not have a chance. It bounds away from him. And Austin is thinking three on his horse into third. He could coast in there standing. A triple for Hayes, his first of the year. After a home run over the left field wall his last time, he has singled, homered, and tripled in the first four innings. Uh, we got a cycle going. Here's the one on the outside. You know, we saw Lane Thomas hit a home run to the right of that last night. Tyler Wells in there to face Nelson Cruz. That pitch count now north of 90. He struck him out. Oh, my goodness. Another changeup. All four of his strikeouts, including both of Cruz's on changeups.
Well, perfect change. Got him the first time, got him the second time. Gets himself out of the inning. Orioles up three to nothing. Here's Austin Hayes with a chance to make some history. Needs a double for the cycle. Infield hit, a home run, and a triple. That ball's belted left center field by Hayes. It's over the head of Thomas. It will score Nevin. It will score Mateo. And I, there's no way Austin's thinking about three. He's going to pull up easily in the second. Austin Hayes hits for the cycle in four at bats. So rain or shine. I mean, you certainly shine after that hanging slider gets belted. The Orioles first cycle in three years. Jonathan VR the last to do it against the Yankees. And Hayes goes single, homer, triple, double in the first six innings. And you could see the other players. I mean, the opposition congratulating him because they know that this, you just don't see this a whole lot. Down the left field line by Trey. This ball is a fair one and a homer. Right down the line to conquer the left field wall for Mancini and put this game seemingly well and truly out of reach now. A two run blast. Well, it, the, the wall was moved out in, in left center, as you know, and so they didn't move the foul pole. Still 333 feet. He hits it just inside it. So Hayes hits a breaking ball. This is a kind of it hangs on the inside half and he keeps it straight. You could see him make sure that he doesn't hook it. Stayed inside it. And when it lands, the Orioles have a 7 0 lead. Well, the inevitable has become official. This game finally. After multiple long delays is over the Orioles have won it seven to nothing in six innings.